Hello, this is Comrade Rent and thank you for watching. So again, I'm doing a video about a uh, warning and please look out for something and just, you know, uh, basically warning about Final Fantasy 50 Collector Edition. Just look out for that. It's me again. Uh, so what I want to talk about is basically kind of easy when it comes to this game. It's a $270 value Collector Edition. I'm talking about Unlimited. Unlimited that has like 35... <laughs> Unlimited Collector Edition that has like... <laughs> 30,000 uh, 30, copies. That's crazy. That's a lot of copies. And it showed that they've been sold out, but somehow you have a waiting list. Mmm, connection. Oh. If it's sold out, it's sold out. There is no waiting list. And um, again, Square Enix. That's um, basically Square Enix. So what I want to speculate and talk about? Well, $270, 30,000 copies of this game. 30 with free, 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 free. So 30,000 copies of those games. And yeah, 270 price. That's basically in Euro. So that's a low price when it comes to Europe and delivery and everything. If you're in USA, Australia, you know, the, uh, far location country, you're gonna pay much more. You're gonna pay like 40 to 50 dollars for delivery. Australia, I think it's like 100 dollars. I don't know fucking why, but yeah. And again, taxing. So with all those shit, you're gonna be paying like 300, maybe. I, I speculate if you're in USA. And those are most of the views I think are from USA because I'm speaking English. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be buying it for 350 or 400 dollars. That's pretty big price in my opinion. And if you wanna buy it, you know, I, I'm not stopping you. You can pre-order it, but please give me a good favor. Don't fucking buy it from eBay or Amazon. You know, people are now trying to resell this game for crazy prices, like they doubling the prices to sell it uh, on eBay. You can, you know, enter eBay and see the prices. Something that I want to warn you, this is like the warning, please don't buy it on eBay, don't buy it on Amazon for the crazy price. If it's out of stock, just fucking wait for it. Most of the buyers for those games are companies that sell those games, are shops. Most of them are shops, and I can assure you about it because I have a reseller here in my country that I know him, and he already have couple of those copies, and he tell me it will be in our country because he already pre-ordered them. So that's a reseller, but that's selling to shops, and he will be selling it approximately the same price. So we're talking about the day the game is out. If I'll want to get it, I'll probably be getting it for like 270 or 300 dollars with taxing and delivery to my country. Okay, that's just interesting, yeah? So why the fuck you buying it in eBay for like 400, 500 dollars? It just fucking pisses me off. Don't do those shit. That's cr people just reselling it because there's a hype train and there's a waiting list for a reason. Just fucking think about it. 30,000 copies is really a lot. It's fucking a lot. I've seen those shit happen before. I've seen those tricks happen before. I've seen the trick with the when it comes to oh, sleeping dog, the agent, the one that you know, oh, it's oh, it's not there. It's like here. See that? This is the sleeping agent collector edition. I bought it for $100. I think less, I bought it for $90. Yeah, man, really, you're asking yourself, how it just been out? You can buy it like $300 on eBay. No, I think it's $250, something like that. Plus delivery tax, of course, if you're buying for more than $200, there is taxing. So, well, I bought it without the game actually, but I don't really want the game, I just sold the game. And Got the collector edition. I know the game will lose the value, and I'm just, you know, enjoying the collector edition, the physical contact with the game. It's something different for me. So Final Fantasy 50 again. Sorry, I'm sometimes jumping and all those. 
and Sleeping Dogs. Uh, Ubisoft tried to pull this trigger like mm, I think a week before the game is out. All the Sleeping Collector Edition have been sold out and you had like the waiting list. And they, they didn't even have the waiting list, they just sold out. The day the game is out, fucking more thousand of those. Can you, you know, 30,000 copies for $270, that's crazy, it's too much, it's unbelievable. I think they just sold like 10,000 that they already have created and they're waiting for another delivery of, you know, to come to their stock until they will sell out every $30,000, 30,000 copies for $270. Do you think everybody gonna love the game? No, it depends, maybe the game is shit. Some people, the resellers or the one that, you know, bought a couple of copies of it because he's trying to make money in like a couple of years, maybe he'll figure it out, oh, I'm gonna lose money, so you're gonna sell it. 80% of the buyers are actually, as I told you, shops, and they will be saying the same price. So, again, the warning is very simple. There is a hype train, the game is not out yet, when it will be out, you will get it at a regular price. Pre-ordering creates hype and creates a lot of problems. You can get a shit game and you don't even know it. And definitely you get a hype train of, oh my god, the game is like, not here. You want a good example of something that happened like this year when it comes to hype and all those things? Okay, I'll give you some simple reason. One Dark Souls 3 that I actually gonna get like in a week the Prestige Collector Edition that I told, and I'm gonna get it for like 350 euro, I think. That's what the seller telling me, that he have it, the reseller of the country have it, with two statues, that what I'm waiting for it. And Legacy Mega Man, Mega Man Legacy for PS4, not the 3DS, PS4. Just read about it. 2001 copies, sold out like pancakes all were out of stock, you couldn't order it on Amazon. Pre-order in eBay, like fucking crazy. The prices there were like fucking $300, $400, crazy. Some people bought it, actually some people bought it. Same thing with Halo, Halo actually happened. Even the game wasn't out and people were buying it, reselling it on the eBay for bigger price. So the Mega Man is out to the world. The price drops to 100, the base price of the game, and slowly, slowly now is rising up and up and up on the ladder. Why? Because the shops and the reseller just, you know, sold all their copies. The shops sold their copies. They made their money back with a little bit profit. It's not thousand of dollars profit, but they do make profit, and that's it. But it's not like double the price. And the people that bought Mega Man for like double the price are now suffering. You know, it's a bummer. You're <laughs> spending $400 and you knew you could buy it like for $140. So why? So again, it's a hype train. So Final Fantasy 15. It's a good collector edition. Uh, I speculate it's not. I don't like Kai action figures. I don't think they hold value. You can go and check out on eBay uh, buying Cloud and it had less copies of it. And just basically, I don't know how the game will be. If it's a shit game, it's a shit game. It will drop in value. If it's a good game, it's a good game. Maybe it will stabilize in value. But, you know, skyrocketing. 30,000, that's a lot of copies. It won't be skyrocketing, I feel it will fall. And when it's gonna be close to 100, 150 dollars, I'll be thinking about buying it. But just fucking thinking about it, because I think it will drop even less. But that's just me, that's my opinion. So thank you again for watching. Again, don't jump on that high parade train of pre ordering out of stock. Those things don't work. I can give you thousands of examples of how this is. And have a nice fucking day.